So counseling introduces to a lot of students conversations that they might have not ever had before. So it's opening that door to dig a little bit deeper into themselves to address, okay, maybe let's talk about where this behavior might be coming from. Let's talk about those emotions, let's talk about those experiences and everything that you're feeling because unless we're having those conversations, then fixing or correcting or addressing the actual behavior is gonna be that much more difficult. And so it really opens the door for that conversation. When we talk about distress, we're talking about, okay, acute levels of distress or chronic distress. And so naturally, if we're talking about chronic distress, more severe distress that goes unmanaged for years, that's when you have more severe side effects. You're gonna have some outbursts here and then because you are experiencing distress and it's not going managed, it's not being managed. You're, you're increasing your risk of, of, and these are just physical side effects, heart attacks, strokes, increased blood pressure, and if you just do the research just on, on the, how those can affect your health in general too, but then let's talk about your, your relational side effects as well. So if you're having all of that, anyone that's, in, that's close to you, that you have a good interpersonal relationship with, if your physical and emotional health is sacrificed, it's also gonna affect your relationships around you because you're not a healthy person. If our own government is cutting funding for mental health, even though they recognize the importance of it, well then what, what example are we setting to? And so it is wonderful. I don't want to discredit the fact that I, I praise our government for understanding the importance of it. But if you're cutting funding, that, that can send a different message too.